What's going on everybody? Welcome to the sixth tutorial of our linked list series. In this tutorial we are going to finally do some advanced stuff and see how Linus Torvalds wants to write the linked list and what he expects from a good coder and someone who knows pointers. And let me show you a quick video now. So as you can see from here, this is the linked list removal just we wrote, and he says that this is a bad code. And yeah, after this small power. step, he shows what, the what he expects. And so this is what he expects, and we'll try to write it now, and after that we'll compare. If you're curious, you can just watch his TED Talks video. Uh, Alright, so the nice way to write it is, it will go like this, let's say... Uh, first, we'll do with deletion with class reference, and after that, we are going to do deletion with data again, same as the previous video. Uh, let's call this delete node, and it will hold two parameters, head, and the node that we want to delete. So now, here's the difference between them. We are going to create a new parameter here, and this parameter will be called as indirect. Uh, we are calling this as in as indirect because it holds the double pointer, a special case, and this is just a way to write it. This will be equal to our head reference now, okay? Uh, after this, we need to check, we don't need to check any condition. Uh, but first, let's write, and after we can talk about it. So it will go like this. We are going to traverse our indirect node, but since it is a double pointer, we need to uh, dereference it before checking our conditions, so it will go like this while ir pointer dereferenced indirect is not equals to entry. Uh, so if it is not equal to our entry, we need to update our indirect node now, and it will go like this. Uh, the new indirect, not with pointer, not with dereferenced indirect, will be equal to... Alright, so here's a this is a little bit tricky. After that, I will talk you. I will tell you what it's written here. So we've updated our indirect node again, but we, uh, we didn't do it like the previous step. Let's compare them. Uh, so uh, as you can see from here, we've updated our referenced head, but now uh, we are not doing it like this. We are not updating the indirect, but we are un updating the reference of our indirect, okay? Uh, the difference between them is, in here, we are updating our head node, the class itself. But here, we are updating the reference of our head node, okay? The memory address of our head node. So it will go like this. We've dereferenced it and pointed to the next one, and after this, uh, we've given the memory address of it. Simple, right? And after this operation, we know that we are now staying at the top of the node that we are, want to delete. And now we are going to dereference it. Normally, our pointer indirect, the referenced indirect, will be equal to pointer indirect next. And uh, this is actually it. Uh, however, not pointer indirect, but entry to next. My bad. Uh, actually, now, since we have done everything, we can delete our entry node here. Uh, let's try if it is working, and after that we'll do a simple compare. Let's say that we give our head reference, and let's try to delete the second node, okay? As you can see, we have successfully deleted the second node, and after this, let's try to delete our head node, see if it's working correctly. As you can see, we have successfully deleted our head node. So, what is so good about it? Why does Linus Torvalds praise it that way? Uh, as you can see from here, uh, in this code snippet, in this function, we actually have one, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting the braces as lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines of code. Uh, it's not much. You can write ten lines of code. But in here, we just have one, two, three, four, and five lines. Uh, that's like half-half, okay? So it's really important. And this is the professional way to delete a head node. Delete a specific node, I'm sorry. And now we are going to 
do the same thing again. We are going to try to delete our head node, uh, our entry node, mm -hmm. with a given data, not a class reference. So it will go like this. Uh, void delete node, I'll link this node pointer pointer head again, and now we are just going to use a data here, okay? And node pointer pointer indirect will be equal to our head node. And uh, if you want to delete, if you want to clean your heap memory, you need to create a temporary variable here. Uh, it's just your choice. If you don't want to clear your heap memory, you don't need to create a temporary variable. Uh, this will be actually linked list node. My bad. All right, so let's continue. Now we need to traverse it, but the traversing it will be a little bit different and a little bit long. So while I'll, our indirect data is not equal to data and our pointer indirect is not equal to null pointer. Actually, we need to swap these two places. Uh, my bad. It will go like this. Okay, better. Uh, why did I swap places? Because if our indirect node is null pointer and we've put this condition before the null pointer check, uh, you'll get an error uh, because it doesn't hold any data. It's just null pointer, okay? So therefore, you need to always check your null pointers at first. So if this condition is satisfied now, we need to update our indirect. It will be the same as the other one. Indirect will be equal to uh, reference and dereference indirect to next, okay? And after this, it will just be the same, pointer indirect to next. And uh, actually, this is it, guys. Uh, there is a small problem here, and the weird thing is actually this. Uh, since we are using data to compare something, uh, we need to use indirect here to update our node, okay? Uh, otherwise, in the other state, we know the entry, therefore we can just uh, set it equals to entry to next, but this will work too. Uh, let's try it now. Uh, so now delete node, let's say two here, and let's comment on this for a bit. As you can see, we've got the one, two, one, three, four. And let's uncomment this line here and give one to here to delete our head node. As you can see, we've successfully got the three, four. Uh, both of them are the same. One is with class referenced and the other one is with uh, integer deletion. So as I said, if you want to delete this uh, temporary indirect node, because since we have changed it now, if you delete uh, pointer indirect here, uh, you'll get an error uh, because you'll delete the node that we've just now updated. Mm. Therefore, you need to create a temporary variable here. Let's call this temp and let's say that it's null pointer. And after this operation, you can just say temp is equal to pointer indirect. And after all of these operations, you just need to delete temporary variable here. Okay? This is just it. If you run this code again, you'll successfully get three four guys. That's it. And that's the good taste of Linus Torvalds. As you can see, uh, this code is a much more complicated than this one, I think. And if you ask me, this one is much harder to understand than this one. Because Priv and Wolf, we've just added two uh, non-working parameters and we've just traversed the linked list and we've do a lot of if else checks in here we really didn't do any if checks too so we've completely gotten rid out of this as well as this uh, pre parameter okay uh, i prefer this way and uh, you can tell your friends about this i assume that really few people know about this so that's it guys see you on the next tutorial take care